what? I didn't. Re I re stopped playing Shadow Dragon because I really lost interest in Shadow Dragon. So I was too busy with Radiant e. Dawn, the better game. Hmm. I suppose so. I honestly, I don't know. I, I haven't. I. You see, I don't consider myself allowed to say what I think a game is better in a series Unless until I've play played a significant amount of them. And yeah. I honestly cannot judge a game that I have not played fully. So, really, I, vo I can only say anything for Awakening, but so far I do like all the other ones. I just don't really know which one is my favorite. But with a game like Fire Emblem, I tend to I tend to kind of make my opinions and judgments on the story because as far as I can tell, the gameplay is pretty much the same in every single one of them. But <coughs> so far, I, do prefer, Awakening. I do prefer Awakening only because of the abilities because it does seem to add a bit more to it, and everything's a little bit more laid out and. I don't feel as stressed <laughs> about the Why don't you just shut up? <laughs> Never. Why would I you know shut what? up? To be honest, to be honest, Seven's kind of, like, made me the most stressed because, you know, you said there's limited EX. <laughs> so I'm Stressful. sitting here thinking, well, I could have this guy attack him, but am I really going to continue using him in the long run? <laughs> Casual. Casual? What? <laughs> you started on casual. <laughs> All right, now it you're was sitting my first it. game. What did you want me to do? Um, n normal classic. <coughs> well, gee, I'm sorry, Foxtrot. Some people like to exactly know. Okay, so I. All right, we have the cards. Card so you, yep. That way, you can start making cool. a lot more progress. Yay. Yeah, because this whole five unit ain't doing it for me, my friend. Okay, so we need at least four for each, so let's see, that's going to be nine we need. Yeah, a lot of mass involved with this, because you kind of have to add and subtract how many units you need. And shut stuff. Static of the Let's see, four, five, one, two, three, four. Five, uh, four, five. Mm. Generally, what you want to have to focus on is uh, basically you kind of want to surround yourself so you have a giant area like, uh, well, the uh, Foxtrot screen is being recorded right now, so I can't exactly give a good estimation. But if you look at Foxtrot, he's basically conquered all of. Uh, Moss Deep and yep. Lily Cove. So. I basically, I'm almost you know, you done with Northern Sea. You want to be, a, you, yeah. since you don't get troops based on how many lands you get, you, ba you only get the troops based on your areas, which is a diff which is a major difference. Having massive areas but o not having a full area, that uh, means you don't get that many troops. So, yeah, you have to be careful about that. My question is, is how, um, what cities they should start out with? Because I, the cities that are normally that side are Rose, um, as Rust Barrow and Flav, um, Flavlo and Dwarfford, so I really wonder what they decided to go with. Now, what I'm doing, like, no one can really see at the moment, but I like to maybe have a few units since I'm kind of good with what my deployment is at the point. Uh, I like to have a few units in my backups just so that I can send them forward in case I get attacked and need reserves. Come here to me and where I'm I... probably speaking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, compared to Foxtrot, where he basically just sends in all his units to the front lines. Meanwhile, you, you if you really look at his screen, you just see 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. 10, 26, 25. <laughs> I tend to block And people. you might... Yeah. And, you know, I mean, yeah, that is a good thing, though. If, I, I don't know. I feel as if I probably still would have lost if I if I hadn't did your surrender in that one game. Yeah. 
I decided, to, you know what, this is already a one in my book. Go ahead and get experience for yourself. <laughs> you know, I dominated during that, so that was fun. I, I really began to realize, realize exactly what you did once I started conquering all your dead nations. I'm like, oh, one, one, one. Does this guy really do it? I thought I... It is a strategy. Is you don't is you want to get as many um as little areas where you have to build up as possible, so that you don't yeah. want to always have to keep doing it. He, I think he's Honestly, trying to I teach like me. Um, I don't know what language he's trying to teach me. He's trying to teach me a language, but yes, he is. All right, we I have conquered the entirety of the North Sea. Do and I can now deploy 18 armies. Good for you. I can do stuff. I think I almost double you now. Yeah. Oh, boy. But hey, you're on yeah. my team. Yeah, I now get to watch the death. <laughs> you get to watch the death instead of being part of the death. Yeah, hooray. Don't worry. Looks over Most Fox of our... shot for help. Fox shot just stands there saying, I have no fucking clue. Commentary? What's that? I just speak whatever's on my mind. Great. Planned out commentary? What's that? <laughs> uh, that's something that is done quite a few times. Uh, you know what? To be honest, this whole tile thing is a little awkward, but I guess it kind of helps sort out everything of what's going on. It it makes sense for a Pokemon style map like this. Yeah, it does. Because although I'm looking here and I keep on seeing, I'm so confused. Oh, don't worry. You I, know what? Since we are talking about, don't worry. I started uh, no, looking wait, at some of those things like Hoenn, where they're sending um connection lines all over the place. Or like the Johto and ha yeah. um, there's a Johto Kento map that I saw, where it looks like the world wrapped, even though it's only based on one little region in Japan. It's not even the entire region of Japan. <laughs> so why was the world wrapping? It's my is what I'm getting to. <laughs> Yeah, okay, well, since we are talking, since we are having a Pokemon map, uh, Foxtrot, why do you like that one Pokemon spinoff game in which you're a warlord and stuff? Because it about was it? Did different. You... It was absolutely not what I was expecting at all. <laughs> uh, have, have you seen, like, a lot of gameplay videos of it and stuff? Yeah. Freaking, it I was... honestly don't think it's that. Uh. What? It looked fun? It looked fun, yes. I didn't think it was that rare of a game. I don't think so. They just never bought it. That's what I was talking about. Mm, okay. Uh, I mean, well, let's see. Um, and on that day, Xander cried because he lost the one subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, mate. Good job. Uh... You know, I, I don't know. Honestly, I do have to apologize for our absence. Life just doesn't like us. Mm -hmm. For some reason, life says that we're not allowed to have a commentary channel group. And no. the reason why... What uh, life said to us was, my... when life gives you lemon, you go fuck yourself. <laughs> and the reason why the next part of the Zelda commentary hasn't come out yet for my Ocarina of Time playthrough was we haven't done basically anything. because I was starting on it, and like when I went back to edit it, all my editing was gone, and I just kind of fell into a depression like, what? No. <laughs> Alright, I am about to have enti the entirety of Love Co. Vivi Co. However oh. you pronounce that nice. town's name. I think it's Levy Co. It's the one it town is I, I, I I'm pretty sure that's the only town in this in the region that I couldn't pronounce. Effie Grand, Potopolis, Moss Deep, Levy Co, Forestry, Mauville, <laughs> Saltport, Oldale. Fuck Saltport. you, Ed. 
Um, Little Root. Fuck you at, I've never heard of that place. <laughs> Dwarf Ford. Pebbleburg. Rustboro. Favador. Then Lava Ridge. For some reason, I always I'm get both two... Long. Even though Lava Ridge is one of my favorite towns, and especially since Jay Pass is where my secret base is in the Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I probably should know this. They always seem to get Lava yeah. Ridge and um, Favador mixed up. 